Hello, welcome to the bee vlog. I'm Bill. It's been about a month since I've inspected these hives here and I'm going to take a look to see how well they're doing. This hive, uh, a month ago I added another super and moved some frames up. So I'm going to see how much of the comb they've built out and see how they're doing on bringing in honey. The other hive was doing really well but their top super was only about a quarter full. I'm going to see if they have started filling it up more this time. I'm also going to be moving one of the hives. This location had three hives, but I wanted to move one of them over to one of my newer sites. So I've already got it closed up and loaded into the truck, and when I'm done here, I'm going to take it over to the new location. So this is a frame Man, that they hang the comb in. Look how beautiful that is. That's oh, the queen's been up here. They've already the got eggs. capped honey on the other side, honey. Mm -hmm. But this honey, has honey. larva on this side. You want to show her? I'm going to yeah. away. Let's see what the larva looks like. And the honey and the capped honey. And... So down here you see those little white worms. Inside. Very end inside of the, the tunnel. Inside the cells. Uh -huh. That's a larva. That will be a bee. That will be grow into a bee. And up here is honey. It's yellowish. There's some caps on the other side. Um, so you can see the different size between the drone and the worker. Mm -hmm. A lot of drones in this one. Mm -hmm. And so when they when the honey is ripened, they put a wax capping over it, so it doesn't continue to evaporate and dry out and crystallize. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised to find brood out on this edge. The brood is the larva, the young mm -hmm. bees. I don't usually find brood out on the edges like this. Since this one has brood in it, I'm not going to hang it down there. It needs to stay warm. Yeah, I wonder where what she's doing down below. I'm sure she's doing just fine down there too. This box is going to need another, or this hive is going to need another box, but yeah, just, I don't have anything ready exploding. today, so I'll, this is all honey here. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's getting Lots heavy. Of honey are very heavy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they You want to feel it? Yep. Your fingers will get a little sticky from that Happy. propolis. Oh yeah, that is heavy. But the propolis comes off with uh, alcohol or scrubbing it with water. Very, very busy. Yeah, we'll need to get another uh, one out to them soon. I have to finish building them. That tastes like anything. If it just Wax doesn't have any taste to it until it's just had honey in it. I know. I wish it did. It's just fun to play with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they, they've filled up all ten frames here. Yeah, and the wax is beautiful. White. All right, now we're on Queen Beatrice. Still not a lot of honey up here, just the Four frames still. No, that make that five frames. There was one one hive that we had caught and we had kind of destroyed their home and so we left them alone for a few weeks. By the time we came back, they had already redone everything, but not in the frame going like this, they had gone this way. 
So they're filling these, way, these combs with honey, but that's capped honey. Uh, oh, that is all capped. the other side isn't capped yet, so that side is still mm -hmm. unripened. Mm -hmm. Why are they still on the capped side? Um, I don't know. Walking from one location to another, possibly. This honey looks really dark. I take this one out. Well, that is very dark. It's a darker honey. It is. And this is mostly capped. There's still a few uncapped. Mm -hmm. The caps are even dark. Now, I don't harvest honey until it's mostly capped. I think that, you know, this one would probably be okay to harvest, although I would be waiting a little bit longer even. Just just to make sure. The problem with taking it too soon and not letting them cap it is the honey has too much water in it and it might spoil. So they still have a lot to go here before uh, this box is full. So they're alright with space. They don't need another box yet. yet. So this is my new location, it's my fourth out yard. And a couple weeks ago when I did the cutout out of the attic in the townhome, that was this hive here and I moved them here that same day. This was the cutout that I did from the pillar about a month ago. And just moved them here today. The entrance is still closed up. The last time I moved a hive and it was close proximity to the previous site, a lot of the foragers returned to the old site. So to avoid the foragers abandoning this hive and going back to the old site, I'm going to try just leaving them closed up for a few days. Quick tour of the property here. I'm not going to show the whole thing for privacy. But uh, as far as the bees go, their hives are here. I built this hive stand a little bit differently. Instead of using the cinder blocks, I just sunk the 4x4 treated lumber into the ground about a foot and level it out there. There used to be a couple large um, cottonwood trees here that have been removed. And right over the other side of this fence is a nice little brook or creek. It's, it's really nice. Hopefully it'll be a good source of water for the bees. And neighbors uh, order. There's uh, several neighbors in this area and they all are tolerant of the bees. The, prop, the people who are hosting the hives for me here went ahead and asked the neighbors and everyone was cool with it. They haven't done too much up in this third box here. They've attached it a little bit, but I don't see any anything going on here other than uh, some pollen storage. They haven't built out any new comb up in this box yet. They're still doing quite a bit of cleanup work just from the cutout. See how old some of this comb is. I'm, I'm guessing this hive was there longer than the year that the owners thought. I'm thinking maybe two years. And this is all just honey as well. 
they've done a nice job of attaching this comb. So I could probably cut these rubber bands off. I'll just take care of that after. I'd like to see if I can find some open brood before I do anything else. Yeah, here we have some larva here. So it looks like the queen uh, is still doing well. I'm going to keep looking, see if I can find some eggs. More open brood. Now this was a frame, an empty frame that I put in. They had drawn out all that comb, nice looking comb. And we have open brood there. Looks really good. Open brood and eggs, very nice. Now this comb here, they haven't attached it all yet. They've attached it to the bottom. But I'm gonna leave those rubber bands where they are. They've, they've attached it to the other piece of comb. A little river or something running through here. That's weird. What is that? It's almost like a, I don't know, what is that thing? Let's see if I can show it on the camera. Found this in the, in the wax. Looks like some kind of cocoon, possibly wax moth. I don't know. Kind of weird. It was like a little river running through. Oh yeah. Definitely have wax moth in here. That's I'm thinking that's what all this is. Wax moth. And it's pretty nasty. The bees have been trying to get rid of it. See, they've been trying to clean it up. They've been chewing out the wax around the little cocoons. I think that was there when we did the cutout. We just didn't see it at the time because it was so deep inside the wax, inside the comb. The little rivers of, and that would be probably the moths that we saw when we were doing the cutout. We saw quite a bit of moths living up in the attic and so that's what this stuff is. Like little tunnels that have been burrowed through the comb. Now the bees are getting to it and trying to pull it out and remove it. All that stuff. Like a webbing. And there's a larva. Ew. There's a larva right there. Wax moth larva. Disgusting. I'm going to go through and pick it all out. This is riddled with it.
I am gonna uh, shrink this one down. I'm gonna take a box away. They don't need all this space. I'm gonna do a little cleanup here and take away some of this comb. It's pretty nasty stuff, especially the ones with the wax moth. There's what looks like um, eggs or, or feces on this wax moth cocoon here. I'm not sure what it is, because this is my first exposure to seeing wax moth. But it's pretty gross stuff. Oh, this is going all throughout. A little black pieces. I don't know if those are eggs or feces. I'm going to take away this comb here. I'm not even using it. There's um, wax moth in it and dead bees. I'm going to get the bees out of here that are on it. I'm going to consolidate things down a little bit so they don't have quite as much room. They don't need that much room. Alright, so I cleaned up all the wax moth. I'm removing an entire box and there were about four, five frames of comb that had wax moth or just some really old comb that I removed. Um, so reducing it down to, from three down to two boxes so they don't have quite as much room that they need to guard and hopefully, you know, they do have some open brood in here so they're gonna be growing and they'll eventually fill out these two boxes nicely but right now they just don't need the, the room that three boxes gives. Here's the box that has the frames that have the wax moth in it. I'm gonna be taking these home and freezing them. They seem to prefer the new wax that they've drawn out anyway. The queen was on it, I saw her there laying an egg and they don't really like this old wax. They're avoiding it sticking to the newer stuff. So I'll be taking this home and just uh, getting rid of the wax. Getting this box ready for another hive.